Thing one, the tap is controlled by Redfield Dolan as Albrecht goes up and gets it, taps it back, and the Pheasants put the ball in the hands of Kyle Stover, who will set it up out front. Stover will dribble to the right wing. Now we'll give it off top of the key to Albrecht. Back it comes to Stover as the Pheasants will load up the right side of the floor between the circles around the horn. It comes left side. Stover will lob it backside, looking for Albrecht, and it's picked off by Hemrick. Long pass down the floor is to a couple Ron Colley players. They uh, battle for it, and so Ron Colley now will pull it back out. Holmstrom on the right side brings it foul line, will try to lead uh, Landon Hayline to the basket and leads him too far. Hayline gets a fingertip on it but can't gather it in. So each team an early turnover to start the game. And yeah, Redfield Dolan the other way. Into full court pressure is the Cavaliers. Long lob pass up the floor is going from the out of bounds line. Pass will come to Stover. Now back to Albrecht at the foul line. He'll uh, kick it out top to Claprick. Clapper gives it back to Stover near the center circle. And yeah, Redfield Doland will get into the offense. Stover will look right, gives it to Claprick on the wing. Around left side, back to Stover. Now here is Claprick with it at the top of the key. They'll try to screen for him, looking low. Stover takes it all the way through underneath. Nice reverse layup, up and good for Kyle Stover, who uh, took it through in traffic and finishes, and Redfield Doland to 2-0 lead. Cavs with the basketball. Landon Hayline on the left wing. Will look low for Hamrick. Nothing there. Out top it comes to Reinen. Ball will come right side to McNary. He'll spin in the lane. Stops. Puts it up and over Stover. Shot is short. No good. Rebound followed up by Hayline. He can't get it to fall. And the loose ball picked up inside by Albrecht for the Pheasants. So the Cavaliers a couple looks inside but come away empty. Redfield Dolan the other way. Kyle Stover right side will drive in and he will draw a foul. A block is going to be called as where is it? Stover? No, excuse me. Jake Balloon took it. It was Stover. Excuse me. Stover to the basket. Draw. Hayline's first of the ball game and and Stover at the line with two shots here. The first one is up and in and out, no good. And one more shot to go here. The second one on the way is up, and that one is good. Pheasants will pick up defense at midcourt as Braden McNary will bring Ron Colley back the other way. They'll bring uh, Holmstrom out to the top of the key. Nothing there. We'll flash it to Ryan over on the left side. He'll try to drive, and a foul is going to be on her left side. And we'll look to get it in play to Hayline out front. Hayline goes to Holmstrom, a three on the way is up, and that one's off the back rim, no good. Rebound pulled down by Jake Balloon, and into the hands of Kyle Stover it comes. Stover on the left side will go to the basket, loses it. It's knocked away by... And the Cavaliers looking for their first points here. Two minutes into the ball game, will put it in Daniel Holmstrom's hands. Holmstrom will give it right side to uh, Hayline, now down low on the block. McNair, little turnaround shot to go off the glass and good. And McNary gets the Cavaliers on the board. Full court pressure here, 2-2-1. And the ball thrown away. Over, we'll see if they can get it into two points here. Holmstrom with the basketball. At the center circle, we'll work it left side to Hayline. Out top it comes Reinen. Right wing now to Holmstrom on the perimeter. Now to McNary. Good look for three. He's screened up and he hits it from the... Braden McNary drops down a three, and then Ron Colley in front for the first time here tonight, 5-3. 5.15 to play first quarter. Here's Albrecht at the center line. He'll get it and tries to dump it down low for Massett. The ball kicked away by Zach Hemrick underneath, providing the defense down low, and Redfield Dolan will keep it. Stover will inbound right of the pheasant basket from the baseline. Inbounds pass will come to Jake Balloon. Now to Stover in the corner. They look back at the post. Nothing there. Albrecht tries to flash open. The ball will come out front for Carter Claprick. Pheasants work it around left side. Albrecht in the left corner will dribble along the arc. Will feed it underneath to Balloon. Shot is up in traffic and won't go. And Hayline gets the rebound and will pull it in good before he falls out of bounds. Quickly into McNary's hands left side. He'll dribble free throw line. Now leaves it back off to Hayline. It comes right side. McNary down low block to Hemrick. Little up and under move. Shot up and off the back rim. No good. Good defense here by Redfield. Inside by Balloon. Albrecht the other way will come through in traffic and a blocking foul is getting on, the, on their offensive end near midcourt. Inbounds pass to Albrecht. They'll give it back off to Kyle Stover. Now the backdoor pass to Albrecht cutting to the basket. Shot is up. Hemrick there defended well but uh, mistimed his jump. Albrecht gets it and lays it up and in. 5-5 five, five. and now here's a throwaway. McNary trying to get it to Hayline. Threw it past him and Albrecht to the Basket will put it up no good, and McNew Sr., first of two foul shots here, is up and off the back rim. No good. Gets a ball back for his second free throw, and this one on the way is up and good. And Redfield Dolan back on top. Now 6-5. Jaden Everson will handle the point. 
And Ron Colley will get it to Holmstrom right side. Penetrates the lane. Puts up a little eight-foot runner. Shot won't go. And Holmstrom gets the ball back. Gets, misses his second shot. Cavaliers keep it alive. They'll kick it out to McNary. His three-pointer out front is off the back rim. No good. And Albrecht the long rebound. Will bring it back the other way. Has the defense back paddling. Puts it up in traffic and left it short. No good. Ryan in the rebound. Will get it to McNary. And he'll attack the basket. Gives it right side to... Uh, Everson now down low block. Little turnaround from Hemrick. Bounces twice on back. Hemrick gets a little turnaround shot. Aaron Colley back in the lead 7-6. A seesaw first quarter. And now here's a steal by McNary on the pass at midcourt. Pass to Everson. Now back to uh, McNary. And the shot cleanly blocked by Albrecht. And Redfield Dolan will run down the loose ball. Stover will get it to Albrecht. Now right side to Carter Claprick. Between the circles, he'll give it back to Stover. And he'll slow things down a little bit here. And we'll get Redfield Doland into the offense. Stover hands it off to Clapperick near the center circle. Now right side to Albrecht on the wing. Pass out top of the key for Massett. The long pass from Massett will sail high over the head of Carter Clapper. Field Doland and Colin Klepsch, a 6'1 junior, will check in. Jaden Everson will set it up out front here for the Cavaliers. Man defense from Redfield Dolan. Right side pass given off to Gus Reedy, who checked in at the stoppage. He'll get it off to Everson. Now top of the key is Holmstrom. Holmstrom gives it back off to Everson. He'll penetrate. Now leaves it off top of the key to uh, McNary. His little turnaround down at great position. McNary finds him with a pass, and Hemrick puts it up and in. 9-6 Cavs and a timeout called by Redfield. Back Hemrick, four in the low post. And the Cavaliers, again, have forced five Redfield Dolan turnovers here. Redfield Dolan breaks the pressure easily here off the inbound. And we'll get it across the line quickly. Clark Carter Claprick will launch a three from the left side. His shot is up and no good. Albrecht there with a the follow shot. Can't get it to go. And the rebound is going to be lost, I think, last touch by Jake Balloon. Albrecht right there with a the follow but can't get it to go in. And Ron Colley now will get the ball back. Jaden Everson across the timeline will give it off to Holmstrom. Now right corner for McNary. He'll look low. Again, we'll lob it up high to Hemrick. He'll kick it out top. Everson from 17. Let's fly. And that one way off the mark. No good. It, down three. Full court pressure here by the Cavs with time. Kyle Stover in the backcourt uses up his dribble. Now we'll get rid of it to Carter Claprick to Albrecht, who will bring it across the timeline. Knocked away from behind by Everson, who goes to the deck. And a timeout called by the Cavaliers from the Bay Fence is uh, a constant in six first quarter turnovers here forced by the Cavaliers. Ron Colley with the ball, a three-point lead, 9-6. With the ball right wing, Gus Reedy will try to get it to McNary down low. The ball at the post first quarter. Zach Hemrick and Daniel Holmstrom will sit as uh, Sam Reinen and Landon Hayline back in the game now for Ron Colley. Here's a long pass up the floor. The Pheasants put it in Colin Klepsch's hands. They'll find Albrecht going to the basket again. A runner to the hole is up and left short. No good. Rebound by the Cavs. McNary is going to draw a blocking foul on Kyle in the first quarter. Cavaliers struggling a little bit offensively here. Credit Redfield Dolan's defense. They're really pushing it out on the perimeter. Hayline between the circles goes to Ryan on top of the key. Now right side, McNary launches a three and knocks it down good. Second, eight here in this first quarter. 12-6, biggest lead of the game for Ron Colley with 1.14 to play in the quarter. In the backcourt, Carter Claprick and Stover trying to break down the 2-2-1 full court trap. Stover uses up the dribble, goes to Albrecht. Now we'll try to get it to Klepsch, or Claprick. And again, this pressure really giving Redfield Dolan problems here from the outset. Everson will set the ball back up now for the Cavs. McNary will penetrate. will dish it right side to Reinen. Now down low block inside. They'll work it to Hayline. He'll kick it out on the perimeter. Three from Reedy up and no good. And the rebound loose and an over the night. Fourth team foul. With time, Ron Colley will set up full court pressure as Ephraim Albrecht will inbound underneath the pheasant basket. 50 seconds to play first quarter. Redfield Dolan down six. Long pass up the floor. We'll go to Colin Klepsch. Now the ball knocked away by Reedy. Picked up by the uh, by Landon Hayline. And the Cavaliers again defensively make a stop. 33 seconds to go. 27 on the shot clock. And McNary's going to stand and dribble near the timeline and let some clock run down here to close out the first quarter. Cavs a six-point lead and hoping to build on it here. 
Clock is down to 20 seconds of game time, 15 on the shot clock. And McNeary now with 10 seconds to go up on the shot clock will put it in play. He'll dribble right, will square up from three, let's fly perfect. Wow, I knew what he wanted. I'm going to take this one, and he knocks it down good. Left side is Stover with it, two seconds, one. Here's Balloon from the corner, left side, and it's off the mark at the buzzer. Uh, rattles off 10 straight to close out the quarter, including uh, three threes from McNeary in that first period. 15-6, Ron Colley with the lead, and the ball to start the second quarter. Sam Reinen at the foul line will uh, stop, back up, and now it's it off the glass, and good. Reinen, his first bucket of the night as the Cavaliers continue this run here at 12 points. Pass up the floor across the timeline. Balloon on the sideline will find Albrecht going to the basket. He'll split defenders. Forces up the shot. Didn't get it. Follow by uh, Albrecht is up and no good from the baseline, but Balloon with a third try will get it up and in. Albrecht's had some decent looks, but have all been contested. And the uh, Pheasants now break the drought there and close it back to a nine-point game. Here is Hemrick turning to the basket. Shot up off the glass and in. Eric Field Dolinger 6'8", Zach Hemrick inside. 19-8, Cavs by 11. 7-10 to play here in the first half. Carter Klapperick will get it across the timeline, and now they'll hand it back off to Kyle Stover out front. Stover with the ball will penetrate and will uh, nearly get tied up, holds up, and now has to kick it back out front. Klapperick will give it back to Stover on the left wing. Ron Colley in their slider zone here, 3-2. Left side, down low to Balloon on the block, shot up no good, and the rebound pulled down by Colton Cox into the ball game for the first time. Cox to uh, McNary, who rifles it up and in from the left side, and again, a timeout taken here by the Pheasants as Ron Colley now st and then a nice bucket inside from Zach Hamrick. 21-8 Cavaliers, their biggest lead of the ball game, and they have outscored Redfield 16-2 uh, to two since Redfield was up 6-5. Across the timeline, Stover gets it and then gets double teamed, but will pass out of it to Carter Klaprick. Back it comes to Stover, top of the key. Stover works at left wing for Albrecht. He'll penetrate the lane, spins to his left, puts a shot up no good, and the rebound pulled down by Hamrick up the floor to McNary. He'll try to backdoor the pass to Reinen, who uh, can't get it, but then follows it back as Red underneath had it underneath him. Reinen will pick up the loose basketball and put it up and in for the two. Back the other way now, Redfield Dolan. Stover left side goes to Jake Balloon. Back it comes out top to Stover at the top of the key to Albrecht in the corner. He'll uh, penetrate in on traffic and put up a little off-balance eight-footer. No good. That's his fifth point, first since early on in the ballgame. 23-10 Cavs. McNary top of the key will give it off to Holmstrom. Now middle of the lane is Hemrick. He'll turn to the left. High off the glass. Too hard. No good. Rebound though will bounce back to Hemrick. He'll get it out top. Holmstrom from three. Let's fly. And that one bounces way off the back iron. Peasants will get the ball back off the miss by the Cavaliers. And into the ball game now for Redfield Dolan. Braden Binger, a 6'3 junior. Stover in the backcourt, reading the pressure. We'll get it to Klaprick up the floor. The pass for the Pheasants. Yeah, Ron Colley, the 13-point lead, will bring it the other way. Daniel Holmstrom across the timeline. We'll give it off to Cox, left side. Now between the circles, Reinen, right wing to Holmstrom. Looks at low cutters, nothing there to McNair. Here's a long three, nothing but net. Braden's in the zone here in the first half. Fourth three-pointer in the first half for McNair. He's got 14. 26-10, Cavaliers on top. Shy of the timeline, Carter Klaprick will get it across with the pass to Albrecht on the left wing. Albrecht will get it into the post. That's Binger. Binger will kick it out front. Front. Now here's Klaprick with it. Goes back left side to Massett. Massett to Albrecht, top of the key. Around the horn it comes. Left side, a three on the way from the corner. No good by Klaprick. Rebound in the paint by Albrecht. His shot up and stuffed by Reinen, but it will hit out of bounds throughout this second quarter. Inbounds pass will come out front for Stover. They'll give it back off to Klaprick on the right wing. Around the horn, left side to Albrecht in the perimeter. The Pheasants just working the perimeter now into the right corner. Albrecht with it, dribbling along the arc, guarded one-on-one -on -one out there by Zach Hamrick. They'll work it back out top, clock at 15, and the Pheasants will reset. They'll try to double screen for Stover, who dribbles right, leaves it off to Klaprick on the wing. Now top of the key, a three on the way from Massett, up and in. Alan Massett hits the first three of the night for Redfield Doland. And that'll cut the lead back to 13. 4-10 to play, first half. Holmstrom will dribble foul line, gives it to McNary. Again, feeling it. This one is up and short, no good. And the rebound back the other way comes Redfield Dolan. Albrecht with the basketball. Will drive all the way to the hole and lays it up and in. And that time he just had too much momentum and got too deep. Now here's the pass down the floor. And Hemrick will take it to the hole, lays it up and in. Outruns Redfield Dolan. Lead the break the other way. And... 
lay it in for the finish. Hemrick's free throw is up and good. He's got nine first half points. 29-15 Cavs, 3.45 to play first half. Kyle Stover will pass it up the floor. Now they'll work it off to Jake Balloon. Everson are back in for the Cavaliers. It will be Kyle Stover inbounding and the pass out front knocked away. McNary hustling to try to save it, but loses it. Redfield Dolan sideline. He'll put it in play to Kyle Stover out front. Ron Colley back in the 1-2-2 zone defense here now. With it left side is Claprick. Out top ball given off to Stover. Now on the right wing, Massett with it on the perimeter to Albrecht. Looked at the three, double teamed. Oh boy, uh, Reedy goes down and Albrecht puts up a shot. Looked like Albrecht threw an elbow, but they let it go. And back the other way comes McNary for the Cavaliers with the board. Long skip pass goes to Reedy on the wing. He'll launch a three and that one is up and in. It's his first basket of the night, a three from the left wing. Cavaliers pouring them in from outside. It's 32-15 with three minutes to play first half. Stover across the timeline. Looks in at the 1-2-2 zone, so he'll back it up and get Redfield Doland into the proper offense. Stover dribbles over to the left side of the floor, guarded by Ryan out front. I'll screen for him a little bit as they extend the top of the zone out. Stover down into the corner. Now they'll hurry it around left side. Massett will work it down low to Balloon in the intent. Redfield Dolan turnover of this first half. 32-15, Jaden Everson will bring it across the timeline. Gives it to Schaefbauer on the perimeter. Schaefbauer goes left side to Everson. Now here's Reedy again from three, in and out. No good from the corner. A whistle on the rebound and a push. So Redfield Dolan will get one and ones on the next foul. But they find themselves down 17 points here with 2.20 to play first half. Full court pressure. Massett will get it to Albrecht, who will penetrate. Puts the runner high off the glass. No good. And the loose ball run down by Schaefbauer out front. He'll get it across the line with the dribble. Now we'll give it off to Reinen. Over into Everson's hands on the left wing. Now right side, Cox. He'll square up from three. Let's that one fly. It won't go. Rebound run down by Reinen on the wing. They'll get it to Schaefbauer, and he'll launch a three. And that one won't go. And the... Uh, Albrecht will come back the other way. Now here's another hand check foul. Second foul, the seventh team foul. And the front end of the one and one up and good for Ephraim Albrecht. And the second free throw on the way is up and good. So Albrecht with nine here in the first half. But the Pheasants down 32-17. Holmstrom across the timeline. We'll give it left to McNary on the wing. Redfield Dolan man-on-man -man defensively here. McNary trying to lead Hemrick to the basket. Gets position left block. Puts it up strong and good. Contact too, but Hemrick goes up strong and finishes with pressure. He's got 11 first half points. 34-17, a minute and a half to play in this first half. Stover across the timeline. Ron Colley's defense will drop back into that 3-2 zone. Ball left side to Jake Balloon, now top of the key to Massett. Left side, Claprick into the corner for Balloon again, looking at cutters inside. Ron Colley keeping uh, the white shirts out of the interior, and Redfield Dolan just working the perimeter. Now here's Stover driving to the basket. It's swatted by Hemrick. Loose ball picked up by McNary. He'll kick it out to Reedy off the three. Shot won't go. Rebound, though, by Hemrick, and he'll get it back to Reedy, and he'll let fly, and that one's up. Well, Gus Reedy never met a three-point look he didn't like, and that one just... Uh, if at first you don't succeed, you get the kick out from the big guy and knock it down again. And that one up and good. He's got six, both from beyond the arc. 37-17, the Cavs lead at 20. 40 seconds and counting to play here in this first half. Right side is uh, Massett on the perimeter. He'll give it to Albrecht, top of the key. Left side now into the corner. That goes to Claprick, and his three is up and in. Alan Massett hits his, or excuse me, that was Carter Clapper hitting his first three of the night and the second of the game for the Pheasants. Shot clock now off with 20 seconds to play first half. Holmstrom with the basketball near the uh, timeline. Five second count is on and Todd Neundorf will call a timeout. He's left to play in the half. Colton Cox will end up bound to Braden McNary and the Cavaliers will... Screen for McNary out top. McNary drives and will give it off to Reedy. Left side, he'll stop and pulls up a 15-footer. That one too close. Ball kicked out. Reedy from the center circle at midcourt. Shot is up, and I think oh, as they did to begin the ball game, as will Ron Colley. 
Kyle Stover will get the inbound pass, and Ron Colley will match up in his own defense, the 3-2 zone to start the second half of play. Out, Carter Klaprick with it. Left side will again try to run that backdoor play to Ephraim Albrecht, and Zach Hemrick waiting on it, picks off the pass high up towards the rim. And so the Cavaliers saw that one coming and took it away. Ron Colley with the ball. Daniel Holmstrom right wing will go to Hayline. They look low for Hemrick, guarded hard by Balloon down low. Now driving to the free throw line is uh, Holmstrom. He'll get it left side to Hayline. Out top, McNary with the basketball. Again, looking down low. Now flashing through inside. Hemrick will lose the basketball as he turns to go to the hoop. And it's picked up. Albrecht will go the length of the floor and will take it up. Shot it for it. And Zach finally flashed open briefly, but Balloon really playing him hard inside and couldn't get the sh for the 6-2 senior. Second one in, and Albrecht hits double figures with that one. 37-21 the score. McNary will bring the ball back the other way now for the Cavaliers. He'll leave it off to Holmstrom, who curls into the lane, tries to dump it over to Hayline, and it's picked off by Albrecht, and he'll take it and throw it down good. And again, Redfield needs something to get this uh, crowd involved and try to get something to go their way, and so Albrecht takes it home and slaps it down. 37-23 the score. McNary with the ball in the lane. will drive and will dish it off. Here's a three from the right side by Holmstrom, and it's knocked out of bound from their offensive side. So Redfield not ready to throw in the towel by any means yet. Ryan will get it to McNary in the right corner. McNary comes out top to Hayline. They'll lead uh, Hemrick to the basket. He tries to pass it around to Reinen, and he'll go up strong. Tough shot, and it won't fall for him. Rebound pulled down by Balloon and given off to Albrecht. And back the other way. Now the pass over to the right side is knocked away. They tried to guideline. Ron Colley matching up here in man defense. Check that there in the slider. And uh, coming around left side with the pass on the wing. Massett will get it into the corner. Here's a skip pass out top to Stover. Three on the way from Klapperick. Shot won't go. Rebound pulled down by McNary. And the Cavs now back the other way. McNary right of the key will stop and pop. And now he'll put the shot up and draws the foul on the way in. Albrecht will be not have his shot blocked. McNary will go to the line with his first free throw attempts. And the first one is up and in. Ron Colley lead. And the second free throw for McNary is good as well. 23, 6 7 to play. Cavs in the 2-2-1 full court trap. Kyle Stover and Carter Clapper try to break it down, and it's stolen away by Holmstrom, and he'll take it to the hole and lays it up and good. Quick, long arms, makes the steal, and turns it into an easy two. And the Cavalier lead now 19, or 18 quickly. Kyle Stover, shy, shy of the timeline, will put the dribble down, dribbles over, and now the ball again knocked away by Holmstrom, this time picked up by McNary, and he'll take it to the build the lead to 20, the biggest lead of the night. Cavaliers stay in the full court pressure here. Inbound pass to Carter Klaprick. He and Stover again playing deep, trying to break the pressure down. Now the ball up the floor given to Balloon underneath. Albrecht cutting to the basket, takes a dribble back. His shot is up and blocked by Reinen, but they're going to call a foul. And that looked like it came from the official on the back. And Ephraim Albrecht will go to the free throw line with two shots here. And the first one on the way is in and out. No good. Away with 12 of the 23 here tonight for Redfield Dolan. Second free throw up and good. So he gets one of the two again. Pheasants will again fall back and pick up defense at midcourt. Right side, McNary will give it off to Holmstrom on the wing. He uses up the dribble, ball knocked away. Holmstrom will run it down, guarded hard by Stover up front. Left side, Reinen on the wing. We'll find Hemrick, middle of the lane, kicks it out front for McNary. He'll stop, pulls up a 15-footer, high, tough floater, won't go. Rebound, though, by Hayline. He'll go to Holmstrom, now drives it out. Here's Reinen from three. That one off the mark won't fall. And the rebound pulled down by Jake Balloon for Redfield. Into the hands of Stover, who brings it across the timeline. Stover double-teamed over on the left side of the floor by Reinen, and Holmstrom now will pass out of it to Klaprick. Klaprick will bring it over right wing. Cavs back into that 3-2 or 1-2-2 zone, however you want to look at it. Right side, Klapprick will dribble along the arc, brings it back out front, and will kick it back in the right corner to Massett. Massett with under 8 on the shot clock, now goes top of the key to Stover. 5 seconds, 4, here's Massett to Stover, and he's going to launch a long 3 that just barely draws iron, and will kicks out. The Cavaliers will get the ball back with 4.15 to play here in the third quarter, leading at 43-24. Holmstrom out top. 
We'll keep the dribble alive, and we'll give it off to Hayline on the right wing. Now top of the key, McNary. He'll look left underneath Hayline, comes through on the block, double teamed on the backside, will kick it out front. Here's McNary from three, shot no good. Rebound by Hemrick, though, it keeps it alive. Out top to Holmstrom from three, and his shot won't go. Off the back iron, balloon the rebound. And here comes Redfield the other way. Stover up the left side. We'll keep it alive. Now we'll go into the corner to Massett deep in the left corner. He'll work it back out top to Kyle Stover. Back to Massett, left wing. Cavs in that 3-2 zone, trying to take away the paint. Now here's a drive by Stover, runner from eight, no good. Rebound pulled down by Holmstrom. Long pass up the floor to Hemrick, and he'll take it to the hole and rather for the easy lay-in and put it up and good. First half, first second half points for Hemrick. He's got 13 on the night. 45-24, and here's Holmstrom, another steal, and he'll take it with the left hand and lays it up and in. Steals does Daniel Holmstrom have in this third quarter? 47-24 Cavs. Stover again across the line, left side, and a foul is going to be called. Kyle Stover will inbound from the Redfield sideline, and will put it in play to Ephraim Albrecht out front. Now back to Stover between the circles. He'll kick it right for Claprick. Now back out top to Stover, looking at Ephraim Albrecht trying to flash through in the middle of the zone. They'll give it back instead to Stover, top of the key. Left side, Albrecht in the corner. They'll cut him to the back door, and they read that back door pass. Jaden Everson in the passing lane, picks it off. We'll get it up the floor right side to Cox. Back to Hayline out right of the key. Into the right corner. Cox underneath wide open. Hemrick lays it up and in. Movement had Redfield scattered all over the floor, and Hemrick was standing all alone under the basket. Gets the pass and the easy lay-in for two. 15 in the game for Hemrick. Out front with it is Stover at the free throw line. He'll kick it left for Claprick on the perimeter. Now he'll walk it out to the top of the key to Albrecht. Drives to the basket, and a charging foul is going to be called. Jaden Everson has done that, into, and the second team foul against the Pheasants here, second half. 2-10 to play in the third quarter, 49-24 Cavs. Out front with it, Everson will give it to Reedy on the wing. Down low on the block is Hayline. His shot is up. Albrecht might have got a piece of that one. It's off the mark, no good. Braden Binger, the rebound, will get it off to Stover who will set it up right wing, uses up the dribble. Now we'll go to Albrecht in the right corner. Albrecht comes back out front for Stover. Now underneath, Binger will go up, and he's, Hayline will be called for his third foul of the night. Binger at the foul line with two shots. First one on the way here is up and good for his. And Carter Clapper has a seat. Second shot for Binger is on the way, up and no good. Everson the rebound with 1.44 to play third quarter. We'll get it up the floor to Cox. Left side, Colton Cox in the lane will put up a tough eight-foot turnaround. Shot won't go, and the rebound grabbed by Stover. Into the left wing to Crum. He'll drive to the basket. His uh, floater from eight, no good. Follow shot, though, put up and in by Colin Klepsch. Klepsch will put the follow through, or put back in for his first points of the night. Everson will give it right side to Hayline on the perimeter. Ball will come left side now to Schaefauer. Long pass over to the right wing to Reedy. He'll bring up foul line. Now dishes off. Schaefauer from 10 feet out left baseline. Shot short, no good. Rebound by Everson, and he's boxing lead for the Cavs. Everson inbounding left of the basket. will work it out top to Reedy. Reedy will put the ball down. Goes to the basket. Off balance runner. Kind of double clutched in midair, no good, but the foul on Kevin Crum, his first, and Jaden Everson will look for his first points of the night. Two shots here from the line. First one on the way is off the back rim, no good. Jaden Everson now gets the ball back for one more shot. This one on the way is good, and they're going to whistle who moved down the floor for the Cavaliers, but they called a violation, and that will... Give the ball back to Redfield. 50 seconds to go. Kyle Stover sets it up out front. Gives it off to Kevin Crum on the left side of the floor. Dribbles back between the circles. Back to Stover on the right wing. Stover out top of the key to Albrecht. Now we'll work it in, and the ball picked off by Reedy. Reedy on the inlet pass. Will try to get it over to Everson. Uh, Spencer Schaefauer got in the way. Not the Eventually, they end up finding Landon Hayline wide open under the basket, and Hayline puts it up and in for his first bucket of the night. 51-27, 20 seconds to play third quarter. Kyle Stover will back it up, and the Pheasants will hold for the final shot of the quarter here. Stover guarded by Everson out front with 10 seconds to go. Keeps it alive. Now again, they try to double screen over to the left. Ball knocked away. Put it in play. 
The inlet pass goes to Binger. Binger will launch a three-pointer <laughs> with plenty of time left, but banks it home from out. Ron Colley with the ball to start out the fourth quarter. The Cavs have all starters on the floor, but Jaden Everson, who's in there for Landon Hayline, now they'll uh, run a design set play inbound to Braden McNary, cutting to the back door, who puts it up and in, and uh, McNary has 20 now in the ball game. Ball uh, knocked loose out front, but the Pheasants maintain it. Right side, Ephraim Albrecht will work it around the horn. Left side into the hands of Kevin Crum. Now back to Kyle Stover, left of the key. To Crum in the corner. Flashing up high post, and there's a travel out front. Colin doesn't take the shot and came back down. That's a travel, and turnover number 17 for Redfield here tonight. Jaden Everson will give the ball right side to Reinen. Now into the corner for Holmstrom. Out top, Hemrick working on the perimeter. We'll get it to McNary left side. Now here is Holmstrom driving to the basket. Nice look away feed to Hemrick in traffic. He'll gather up and lays it up and good. Zach Hemrick, best offensive uh, performance of the year. 17 for him in this one. At the other end, here is Albrecht to the basket. And again, Ron Colley defends him well, contests the shot. It's up from five feet out, but off the glass too hard. Now here's a give back, and they'll work it around the horn to right baseline up and good. Cavaliers a 57-30 lead and have called off the dogs here. They're out of the full court press. Here's Albrecht from 12. Shot long, no good. Backside rebound by McNary. Outlet feed goes to Holmstrom, who... Zass off of Hemrick to Reinen. Reinen lays it up and in. He's got 10 in the ballgame. 59-30. The Cavaliers have scored eight quick points here to start out this fourth quarter. And have nearly doubled up the Pheasants here. Crum down low trying to work it. Left of the Redfield basket from the baseline. Inbounds pass will go to Jake Balloon. And he'll put up the shot from 12. It won't go. The follow by Balloon is partially blocked by Hemrick. And now here's a lob pass to Reinen at the other end. His shot uh, kind of a touch volleyball like set is off the rim no good. And the Pheasants with the rebound back the other way. Stover gets it back. We'll feed it down low. That one will go to Colin Klepsch and his half-court defense. 5.45 to play. Ron Colley leads at 59.30. The outlet pass up the inbound will go to Carter Klaprick. Klaprick goes to Stover, who will get the ball back for a little runner. He'll put it up and in from about eight feet out. Stover's first point since right away to start the game. Here is a long pass down the floor. Now Holmstrom will get it on a little drive. Takes it up and good. Cavaliers five of six to start this fourth quarter shooting and getting good looks at the other end. 61-32. Jake Balloon with the ball out front. We'll give it left side to Klaprick. He'll launch a long three. That one off the mark. Rebound run down by Hemrick. He'll get it to Reinen. Up the floor. Holmstrom leads away. One on one to the basket. Count it. Foul. Holmstrom will get here in the first two minutes and 53 seconds of this fourth quarter. And Holmstrom trying to convert the and one does as his free throw is up and in. Daniel Holmstrom with nine second half points. 64-32. Cavs with five minutes to play. Stover, left side, will work it out front into the hands of Klaprick, who will bring it right wing now to Albrecht. Around the horn, into the corner to Jake Balloon. Out front, Stover looked at the three. Now will go to Klaprick. His three-pointer on the way, no good. And the rebound pulled down by Zach Hemrick. Hemrick will give it to Jaden Everson, who brings it across the line. Everson now to Reinen in the left corner. He'll dribble along the three-point line. Crosses it to Holmstrom over on the right wing. Holmstrom leaves it off to Everson. And the ball is going to be swatted away by Klaprick off the foot of Everson out of bounds. And the... It will be Klaprick putting it in play, and the impounds pass stolen by him uh, by Hayline. They'll give it off to Reinen, and now Reinen hands it to Holmstrom, who brings it across the timeline. Holmstrom to McNary in the paint. Double team tries to bounce it through to Reinen underneath, and the... 64-32 Cavs, 4.05 to play. Ron Colley will get the slider zone... Put back in on the defensive end. Right side, Albrecht in the corner. 
will skip it out top. And uh, Kevin Crum with it will try to drive. Has it knocked away. Loose ball picked up by Reinen. Reinen tries to dump it off to Hayline, or to uh, Holmstrom, rather. Can't get it, but Hayline will run down the loose basketball. Now back to Holmstrom from three. Shot up, no good. Follow shot by Reinen, up, no good. Hayline right there with the follow shot. And his put better times a charm. Landon Hayline gets the offensive board and the two. 66-32 with 3.25 to play. Left side Albrecht in the corner. Albrecht will take it to the basket. Shot is up and blocked. It will go up 66-32, 3.20 to play. Inlet pass will go up high to Ephraim Albrecht, and he'll put it up in the paint. He's got uh, 15 on the night. Ron Colley at the other end. Sam Van Orman on the left side will go to Hayline. Now out top to Schaefauer. I'll cut it to Reedy going to the basket in traffic. It won't go, but Hayline right there with the follow shot will get the ball back. We'll dump it off. And the putback no good by Cox. Hayline right there again. Count it, and he'll draw the foul. Landon Hayline trying to convert the three-point play here with 2.55 to go. Shot is up and good. And Hayline now will, will check in for Hayline. 68-34 Cavaliers. 250 and counting to play in the ballgame. Across the timeline, Kyle Stover will get it left wing to Alan Massett. Now back to Stover out top of the key. Stover gives it to Albrecht. He'll go in strong. Barrels his way to the basket. Shot no good. Follow shot by Albrecht up and in. Play off the foul from Schaefauer, his third. And Albrecht will check out if he makes the free throw, which he does. And for Redfield. 235 and counting as the Cavaliers bring it the other way. Reedy brings it free throw line, gives it to Van Orman. Now out top with it is Reedy. He'll get it in the right corner to uh, Logan Karst, to Colton Cox, a three on the way. Shot no good. Rebound underneath. Reedy will go up strong, doesn't get it to go. And Braden Binger will pull down the rebound for Redfield. Put it in Stover's hands, who brings it across the timeline. Right side to Alan Massett. Back to Stover, top of the key. They'll screen for him. He'll take it into the zone, and then we'll get a little runner to crawl in good. And so with a minute, Holzer will put the ball in play to Hag with two minutes to go, and the Cavaliers will bring the ball back the other way. Hag will work it right side to Holzer. Now out top to Van Orman. Around the horn it comes. Hag with the basketball, gets it to Cox, who has a nice drive to the basket and takes it all the way to the hole and puts it up and in. Colton Cox, I think, off the drive, was surprised to see himself that wide open, that close to the basket. First points of the night for him. Now at the other end, here is Howe, excuse me, Jessen, and Jessen's shot will go in good. Holly and Connor Deutsch will come in. The check-in for Redfield is... Uh, and we'll get the action here in a moment. Number 32 is uh, Taylor Whip. Logan Karst with the ball on the right side for the Cavs. We'll leave it off to Holzer, who dribbles down into the corner. Now gives it back to Karst, who takes it strong to the basket. Shot is up and partially blocked, but the loose ball run down by the Cavaliers. And the ball stolen away, coming to the basket. Crum will get the steal and will take it the length of the floor and will lay it up and in. A minute to play, 71-43. Ron Colley with the lead. Here is Connor Deutsch with the ball. Low left block, good look, but uh, bangs it off the glass, no good. Rebound pulled down by Braden Binger. And uh, the other way, now Hag will step in front, picks the pass off, will take it the length of the floor, and Bailey Hag will lay it up and in. And the points at the other end. Back to a 30-point Ron Colley lead with 35 seconds to play. Taylor Whip with it, goes to Jessen. Now middle of the lane is uh, Binger, and... Braden Binger will get the shot to fall good from just inside the free throw line. He's got five or six second half points. 20 seconds to go. Hag across the timeline. Will hand the ball off to Van Orman. Van Orman drives to the basket. His shot up, hangs, bounces three times on the rim, falls away, no good. Binger the rebound with eight seconds to go. We'll get it to Dalton Howe. Howe will hurry it up the floor, goes right side to Dalton Jessen. His shot is up no good, but the follow at the buzzer put up and in by Taylor Whip. Very on the night here, Braden, a nice night for you. And uh, it looked like early on, it felt pretty good out there. Uh, I, you could tell that three-pointer was just, uh, you were feeling it tonight. Yeah, it was one of those one of those first halves that I got on a roll and kept, kept giving me the ball and I shot well, but 
We got the ball with other people in the second half, and it was just a good team effort tonight. It was a good team effort, but, you know, those threes kind of got it rolling. It was yeah. back and forth those first few minutes, but when you get that, I mean, it, does the game slow down? Do you just feel it kind of, all right, I know what I'm doing here. Just get me now. Yeah, a little bit. When when you get in a special feeling like that, it's really fun to just catch and shoot. You don't have to worry about anything. And it was just going in for me tonight. Yeah, it really was. It really was. And then, you know, everybody else gets involved, and I, I thought, you know, defensively you guys did a nice job, a lot of help over on Albrecht, and, and everybody kind of just wanted to make sure that he didn't go off either. Yeah, Ephraim, Ephraim's a great player and a great athlete, as you saw by that one-hand dunk. That was, that was pretty cool, but yeah, it was team team de defense help tonight. Shut down Ephraim, so it was a good night. Well, and, you know, you were outside and then uh, Zach got it going inside. Uh, was that an effort you guys said, we know we got this, we're, we're going to get him the ball? Yeah, we know most nights Zach's the biggest man out there, and he's really unselfish. He'd probably shoot the ball more, but we got to him, and he was, just, he was doing work down there, and making baskets it was good it was good any thoughts that you have on the game any keys that you saw or just uh, glad to be hey halfway through we're 10 and 0 we're right where we want to be yeah it's a great feeling being 10 and 0 never never been 10 and 0 in my four years playing in varsity so it's a great feeling uh-huh yeah well 10 more to go right yeah exactly <laughs> and a couple more yeah five <laughs> after that that's right braden thing said you know what first second quarter they're gonna they're gonna come at us but we think we can wear them down but that press really got to them early it did and uh you know we just got to I'm not a very patient person, and, and you got to be patient, and, you, and we got to just wait and wait because the press just wears on you. You know, you look up there, and it, you know, we were behind, and then it was like it got to seven, then it got to nine, and then at halftime it was 17, and then, you know, I thought halfway through the third and the fourth quarter, when we were in transition. That was pretty good. Yeah. I mean, there was one time there was three passes. The ball didn't hit the ground, and it ended with a layup. Um, and, and, you know, you can't do that all the time. You know, I told the kids at halftime that we really wanted to look at, at getting the ball into Hammer in the second half. Mm -hmm. And I think I talked them into forcing it in there too much. We came out in the first half and, you know, got too way late in the shot clock, and we were just looking, like, looking, 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 like getting it to them. And then we kind of got stagnant. And so... You know, we called a timeout and we talked about our just play, let it come within the flow of what we're doing. We don't want to just single him out and say, hey, we're NBA style, we're going to pound it down to you because, you know, they, we got it down to him once and Ephraim tipped it from him and, mm -hmm. and went the other way. And the kids were doing what I wanted to, wanted them to, because they had nobody that had an answer for Hammer down right, there. Right, right. But we got to let it come within the flow. And that, that's what we were talking about earlier in the pregame, learning how to play a little bit in that half court set. And we got to get better that way. Um, but when we can get out and run, you know, we feel pretty good about it. Yeah, and uh, boy, just a lot of turnovers. I had you guys forcing 20 turnovers tonight. Boy, it just seemed like these 12, 13 of those turned into baskets. Yeah, you, you know? know, and you know, I can't say enough about like Daniel Holmes. Yeah. You know, that little poke check he's got. I'm a Celtics fan, and I, that reminds me of the, of the late Dennis Johnson. You know, DJ used to do that poke check and go real quick with it. And, you know, a lot of times you get called for a foul, you got, but he's got those long arms right. where he can reach, poke check that thing, and go. And, uh, you know, he's pretty good. you got to give him credit for that. And, you know, Landon had a tough first half. He got a little foul trouble. But, you know, Landon just gets those hard, those boards, mm -hmm. and he's just kind of a grinder. And um, But... I'm glad Sam came out of his shell a little bit. Sam Ryan, and he's been kind of in a shooting slump a little bit, and he came out a little bit. But um, overall, you know, we're happy. Uh, you know, you're 10-0, and and then you got all the, the stuff, the junk comes out about the polls, and kids see that, and parents see that, and people see that, and you got to deflate heads again and get them back <laughs> down. And you never, wanna, you never really want to play the day that comes out because you're sitting there thinking, oh, boy, here's a target on your back. And, um, you know, so... I was happy with the way our kids came out and played. They made a run on us in that early in, third. Yeah, early third. And then we answered, and I looked up when they called the timeout. It was at 20 because mm -hmm. it was at 12, then yep. it was at 20. Right. And it happened so quick. Um, you know, I just have never had a, a team that can go from, you know, just boom, boom, and spread it out that quick. It just happens so quick. So. You know, couldn't be happier with our effort. We just we got another short turnaround and uh, go again Thursday against a assistant team uh, that we um, 
you know, haven't seen in person, but, uh, you know, we'll get a chance to look at. Yeah, and, you know, they've got a little size. They always do. Uh, new head coach, so we'll see what they're doing differently, but I don't think their record's too bad, so no. got to be ready, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and, you know, Sys 10, it'll, it's, it's going to be a ball, it's going to be a ball game. It's always a ball game with Sys 10, so they'll probably be a little, you know, a little more disciplined, like, uh, like when Coach Nelson had them, and, um, you know, they'll probably try to take the air out. We just, again, comes back to us creating tempo and us getting up and down the floor, and uh, I think they're kind of young. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, other than the Cranhold kid, I think they're kind of young. You know, they graduated them. Well, I guess Dominic White's still there, too. Right. And so those two kids played a lot in their, in their uh, state championship game. So we got to, you know, work those other guys a little bit. But uh, it'll be fun, and... Uh, day off and, and then right back on her yep you bet and then uh, back to to Hanson the Hanson Classic a big matchup Saturday but I know Sisseton first Sioux Valley next yes so. yes and uh, you know we're excited we're excited about um, how we're doing and I had and I don't know maybe you know but I had somebody call me and say geez I don't know the Ron Colley has been ranked number one or or been 10 and 0 it's been a long time mm -hmm. I, I since i've been there nothing like that so i don't know if it's been before that or not and i i you know the person who called me i said hey just let's just keep that on the dl a little bit but <laughs> um the kids you know are excited about that they should be excited uh, but we gotta know that that means about as much as you write number one on that paper it doesn't mean a lot that's so right you got to back it up and uh, every night that's just a new challenge and and we're using it as a challenge we're using it as a motivator say you got to come that people are going to come after you and uh you know they i thought we how many did Ephraim end up with tonight i had him for 18 okay so it's not like we held him in check but uh uh you know i think he worked for some of yeah, those he, did. he had to work pretty hard to get those so yep yep well, I'd check with Ron Colley historian Rick Klein, too. He might be able to tell you the answer to that I question. bet he will. I think he would know the answer I off the top of his head, yes. All right, Coach, thanks much. We'll see you on Thursday. All right, drive safe. Yes.